Hello everyone and welcome back to Besieged. Today, before I start with the creations, I kind of want to showcase a mod that I had on this channel before, but I didn't showcase it correctly, because it was correctly installed, and I know that now. I'm talking about these Polterizer, that's what I'm gonna call it, because I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. But uh, yeah, these... These things turn anything it touches, basically, alive enemies, into, well, yeah, chickens. So, <laughs> I've built this little vehicle here to also showcase the problem. You may wonder why this thing is all the way up here. Uh, the way the mod sort of worked was that the cannons would have to be within range and on the same level as, uh, let's see here, yeah, like, on the ground here, in order to actually transform these knights over here. So that's also the reason why this thing over here was in range, the uh, the actual ramp here. So let's go over here and transform. <laughs> Look at that. That's incredible. Okay, we got one chicken. So we have to be within range for the actual cannons to fire. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Oh, how about, how about sheep? Can we actually, can we, oh, no. Oh, hey, it turned into a chicken. That much I know. Oh, let's run down some of these guys here. <laughs> I think we got them all. Although, I don't know. Can I... Oh. What did I do just, just there? I seriously have to uh, to actually test that out. If, if I saw what I did right there, and if that thing was correct, then... My god. We can give these soldiers an afterlife. Let's check this out. So, you need to tilt it forwards because it needs to be on the same kind of plane. Oh, look at that! What? Hi! Hi, how you doing? Okay, um... You're kinda close, buddy. But, uh, okay. Let's, um, let's, let's go for- No! Oh my god! Okay, how about over here? We still have this guy. Yes! Look at that! Whenever the beam points at dead guys, we can give them the afterlife that they truly deserve. Moving on. This is the compact walker. Which, uh... Whoops. Which, oh, okay. I kind of need to uh, to sort of figure out the controls here. There we go. All right. Okay. That looks pretty good. So I know that two and something else did some. Oh. Okay. I can walk here. That's quite nice. It's a very slow rotation, but you have the lifting of the of the actual pistons there, and along with the hinges that doesn't necessarily. Okay. I was just gonna say that they don't necessarily break off all the time, but. Hey, what do I know? Okay, I figured it out. So you can actually raise this arm. Oh, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> um, you can actually raise the arm up. And once you start doing this, there's not really any going back. And you can throw it out here and then release. And then walk away. I can't walk away, but that's okay. Uh, because we can actually, let's, let's see here. Yep. Oh, there we go. We can drive away. So, um, hmm, hang on. Yes, Jars. There we go. And without further ado, that was super anticlimactic. Next up, a V-Wing from Star Wars, and this one is supposed to be used in zero gravity, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. This thing is very intriguing to me. I don't know how this is done, so yeah, I, I, I don't know, but I gotta say this, um, hang on, where, the, where, where was it? It's here, yeah, there we go. Uh, F and H, they control the, ve the vehicle's uh, yawing, and they do it by compressing a suspension block, or at least pulling it back. And I don't know what that's doing to the physics engine in, in zero G. I'm not one to sort of be clever on that, but uh, it, it has the spring, so it's definitely contracting something down. And as you can see, it can, it can actually rotate or yaw quite efficiently, and stop it also very early at the same time. Oh, it's beautiful with this house flying over here. So, uh, yeah, let's try to fly this thing. We need to go down here again. And I also think I need to roll my vehicle. Oh, okay, okay. Space is confusing, guys. Space is very, very confusing. Let's go down if we can. Can we? Yay, we can go down. It's a slow descent. Oh, yeah, and we can actually uh, uh, refire the uh, the fireball there so, so that we get steam. Instead of, I need to actually find my pitch, uh, sort of, uh, um, 
Uh, uh, hang on. Okay, I, I need to control this thing just a bit better. Who? Mm, no, tilting, tilting. Oh, oh, you are so tilting the wrong way. You, you are so not going the direction I want you to go. There, just, just hold that. Okay, no, never mind. Next up, a circular railway. And I've been looking for some designs like this for quite a while because I like it. You know, these, these are very creative and uh, this one is also very, very nice because it only has two buttons, up and down. So let's go for it. How, how do we, how do we, okay, do on the frame rate. Why are, is the frame rate dying so much? Ooh, this thing is actually very, very good. I mean, I was expecting this thing along with my PC to break completely whenever I booted this up and saw the frame rate drop. Uh, but no, apparently not. This thing is actually doing a very, very good job. Let's see exactly how far I can push it in terms of speed. Uh, 70. There we go. There we go. So, this thing has actually made it an entire round around this circular thing here. And it's very nice that this little sort of um, pre made base for circular designs are sort of collected in in the middle there and you have some nice little feet for it to stand on so that's quite nice and uh, of course you can move this thing anywhere and do whatever you want with it i don't know if actually putting on some powered wheels would make it too rushy like it would make it too fast and uh, and definitely mess up the track i don't know but pretty damn cool uh, little railway nonetheless this is actually the first time that I've seen a contraption where steam is sort of the main part of it all, where it goes into physics whenever it's hitting these ballasts here. That's everything that's powering this thing. Nothing else is automated. There's no, no automated wheels under here. Can we stop swiveling? Yes, we could. These two are also unpowered wheels. Do you see it? Do you see it? This is definitely what's... Oh, whoa. Okay. Hi. Okay, sheep. Uh... Just do your thing. That's cool. <laughs> I'm going to do mine over here. Right. So this is sort of proving the technology that whenever water cannons are heated up and creating steam, they create that sort of power that you can use for so many different things. And this actually has, well, it has like a slider onto a swivel joint and then a ballast with a hinge and another thing over here that's, uh, that's rotating along with it. That is... <laughs> That is quite amazing. And then, of course, this thing moving over here. This is this is insane. Like, anyone who can think of this is seriously a genius. This is incredible. So, if you've been following my Besiege series for a while, you will know that I'm a huge fan of small but yet effective planes. And this thing is definitely one of them. I'm just going to focus on the block. There we go. Hopefully get the cursor out of the way. And in just a second, we're going to... There we go. We're going to drop... And this little thing is just going to fall. And we're going to pull up. And whoops. Whoa. Okay. 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 I completely failed that. Whoa. Hang on. Hang on. No, I didn't. Oh, we're up again. This is awesome. Okay. So this is the... Uh, whoa. What is it? The glider, I think. I think that's what it's called. And my god. It is truly a glider. And... You sort of have, if, if I just restart it here and I actually want to do something else as well, because this thing starts with inverted controls. And I'm sorry, there's nothing wrong with the with the contraption. I cannot flip this around, but I don't need to either. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the contraption uh, on my part. I just think that it's easier for me to do it the other way around. So whenever I press up, it actually goes up in the sense where I want it to go. So... Let's do this. I want to get high enough to the point where the ground sort of starts to flicker and the texture is sort of, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's go. Let's do this. So, yes, it is going up and <laughs> let's control it. This little thing here is amazing. I'm just trying to sort of keep the camera straight on it and, uh, whoops, that's what she said. I, I seriously got to stop with those jokes. Okay, here we go. Yes! Yeah, so you can actually get a real nice boost off of these gravity tethers and uh, and just gain a little bit more height. I didn't necessarily gain a lot from it, but hey, either way, this is progress and this thing is very effective considering the fact that it's only working off of a gyroscope. And behold the beast. This is one of the sickest cranes I have ever seen in Besiege so far. 
This thing is so well constructed and I'll show you why. First of all, we have a counterweight back here, which is scrolling along with the, uh, with the actual other crane thingy over here. So the further I go out, you can see that this thing also goes back in order to sort of counteract the weight. And uh, this is full gravity. This is not moon gravity or anything. This is absolutely full gravity. And uh, you can then... Whoops. Hang on. Let's see here. Whoop. Let's see. Okay, no. I'm just activating the grabber. There we go. There we go. We can actually get it down. And you can also turn it left and right to go over here. And that's done by this little wheel in here. Or this huge wheel in here, actually. Whoa. Okay, that's close. Uh, but this is actually turning very very slow and I think that's good because once you get out to these uh, Extends from the center or whatever. I don't really know what to call it uh, But once you extend this far from the center then you sort of need slow movement in order to be more precise uh, The further out your crane arm is also I seem to mess this up completely. Okay, here we go Here we go. I just want to deliver one thing. Oh, come on Oh, come on. I got it. Oh, I got it. I so got it. Yes, perfect. Hi, dude. I don't, uh, I don't hope that you mind me just stealing all of your stuff here. Yes, there we go. To reel it in once more, so to speak. So now all I need to do is turn this thing. The turning is very slow, but like I said, that is pretty good. Also, I love the stability that's, uh, that's made in here with these two barrels uh, or half pipes around the uh, the wooden thing here and uh, and then of course these wheels on top and then dragging it along with the winches this is an amazing design and the funny thing about it is it's almost only consisting out of braces and then a few weights and some wooden blocks a couple of wheels but other than that okay okay this thing is actually <laughs> supposed to go over here to the insignia because uh, that's where it's supposed to go Okay, I've tilted it over here. All I need to do now is basically just reel it in even further. And whoops, I need to go a bit more to the right here. But now you can just sort of get to see the perspective. And, uh, well, okay, that thing is uh, sort of swinging. I don't like that. But I guess that's part of the job, I guess. But it's creating a lot of instability in this thing, I would guess. Or actually not. Also, I will point out I'm running this at like 58%. I think I could speed it up just a little bit more. Actually, I can't. We're all the way up to 72. Okay, the frame rate is dropping a little bit. And drop. Yes. Yes, I did it. Perfect. It actually, it actually went there. You heard the sound, so that's quite nice. Oh my god. I love this crane design. It's just... It's... It's looking so fragile, like, it, it, it's looking like something that you would expect to fall down any moment, but it doesn't. It actually holds itself up. Okay, so just one little note before I go. Uh, I'm gonna be changing the way that Besiege suggestions work uh, on the channel. I'm gonna have an email set up, and I'll, um, I'll sort of, you know, address it in a later video, but I just kind of wanted to talk about it now so that we don't have many links in the in the, the you know in the comment section of many videos because i was about to say the description again as you could hear uh but yeah in the comment section i really want to try to keep it clean with all the links so you don't have something you know of you you know something you potentially could storm into and uh, i actually had something uh happen today where uh someone uh put down uh, like Congratulations on the thousand subs and everything and uh, Here's a link. So if you click this, this is like a page that actually promotes uh, 1000 sub youtubers and you could win a prize and everything I deleted it immediately and uh, I don't want you guys uh, You know not to be safe because someone is is posting some kind of Potentially dangerous link in the description. No, not the description. It's the comment section <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I just, you know, I feel like I need to have that precaution whether or not that link was actually something, you know, more than that, than what he said it was. I don't know if it was because I didn't click it. I don't click it. I just deleted it right away. So, if, uh, yeah, if you see any spam, please just ignore it and uh, I'll be setting up a, an email soon. Hi, sheep. Hi, you come to join me. Okay, I'll, I'll set up an email soon. Oh, hi. Um, where you can uh, contact me or, you know, ask me questions or, you know, send me different kind of...
things for uh, for besiege and for other things or suggestions or whatever we may stumble upon across the road and uh, yeah so that's that's sort of gonna take away the need for comments in the uh, in the in the section below that is filled with links we would uh, we would actually have to eliminate all links that's at least what I would like to strive for I know it's not possible because Google and YouTube yeah you know but uh, hey don't knock me over sheep hey that's not cool you know that right this is uh, the steam rocket that I showed you and this is just one little quick thing before I go uh, just th this is the last thing trust me uh, this is the one that I built and you can see that already from the beginning it actually starts to take off on a you know another direction than straight upwards so I actually just kind of for fun uh, placed a balloon here instead and what that did was to completely stabilize it look it's going up incredibly straight I mean at, at least it it kind of has a little bit of a motion to it but it's as you can clearly see nowhere near to the point where it was before and then of course when the balloon popped just now yeah it starts to take off but that's just another little cool thing that uh, that I thought I'd share with you so if you need some stability for the steam motors that is going up straight perhaps you could try a balloon on top who knows but thank you everyone so much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one peace